I want to talk a little bit about Bubba Wallace. As you probably already know, Bubba Wallace has been accused by a lot of NASCAR fans of fabricating the story and comparing him to Jesse Smollett. Um, Bubba Wallace, in case people didn't know, has been driving race cars since the age of nine. He got his big break with Joe Gibbs racing. Joe Gibbs was the former head coach of the Washington Redskins. Fast forward now, he's working with, um, I believe it is Petty Motors as a race car driver. And here recently, due to the events of the protests of George Floyd, Bubba Wallace decided that he was going to drive a car and on that car, it would say Black Lives Matter to bring awareness. In addition to that, NASCAR has decided to remove the Confederate flag from their grounds. When Bubba Wallace got ready to go to Alabama to do his race, uh, someone, not Bubba, found a noose hanging on the garage stall of stall, I think it's number four. The issue is people are trying to compare Bubba Wallace with Jesse Smollett. Bubba didn't bring that to the attention of NASCAR. A worker at NASCAR brought that to the attention of the authorities of NASCAR. NASCAR did the right thing and decided to do an investigation. FBI got involved with that investigation and found that that noose-like rope had been hanging there since October of 2019. The irony of this all is that NASCAR did their own investigation of all their racetracks and found out that over 1,600 race car tracks that NASCAR races on, only 11 had a rope to pull down the garage and only one stall had a rope that was shaped like a noose. A noose is a noose. It doesn't matter whether or not the noose is capable of hanging someone or not. You can use a noose or wear a noose as a trinket for that matter. But the bottom line is that people have a lot of reasons to be upset with Bubba Wallace. Number one, NASCAR is not really integrated. It doesn't have a lot of African Americans winning anything in NASCAR. It's predominantly dominated uh, by white Americans. Um, so with that said, NASCAR has a long way to go in terms of how they're going to make NASCAR look more American. Americans come in all creeds, colors, shapes, and sizes for that matter, as we all know. So to have a, a large representation of only white males at that, not even females, um, says a lot about NASCAR. So they have a long way to go. And Bubba Wallace is basically helping them along the way. Due to the recent events that everyone's aware of, of George Floyd's killing in Minneapolis, Bubba Wallace decided that he was going to drive a car that had Black Lives Matter on it. He also decided to advocate for the removal of the Confederate flag from NASCAR racing um, grounds. From what I understand, NASCAR had already been contemplating that same type of move. So to blame it entirely on Bubba Wallace, I do not know. But I think a lot of the NASCAR fans are offended and they were offended well before Bubba Wallace pushed to advocate for black lives because black lives do matter, as we all know. And the police brutality that we have here in this country says a lot that black lives don't matter, and that's the reason why people are saying black lives do matter. So people need to get that. But to compare him again, once again, with Jesse Smollett, when allegedly Jesse Smollett fabricated his own story, is a misnomer. How does someone else, a worker, find a noose-like rope hanging on the stall, stall number four, in order to pull down the garage door, I guess, and then somehow paint that as Bubba is the one that created the story. It's a misnomer. Bubba, the story was reported to NASCAR. Bubba found out about it. Maybe they took a picture of it. From what I understand, they now cut the noose-like shape rope, which they should have. But for those people that are arguing about Bubba being uh, a, a, a diva or a drama queen or a Jesse Smollett or whatever they want to call him, that's not true at all. In fact, a lot of people didn't know who Bubba Wallace was unless they watched NASCAR. They probably saw Bubba Wallace's face on some of the sports uh, 
outlets, etc. So it wasn't like he wasn't known whatsoever. You have to be known if you're the, in the top uh, race car drivers and you're the only African American. So Bubba is a trailblazer. And then he decided to speak up to something that should be important to most Americans. So a lot of people that are NASCAR fans are really upset because not only did he advocate for black lives making a difference in this country, which it should in terms of police brutality, but then uh, he advocates for the removal of the Confederate flag from the grounds when we all know that it's treasonous to have a threat, uh, any flag for that matter, let alone a Confederate flag on the grounds of anywhere, it's treasonous. The Confederate flag belongs in a museum. That's it. In fact, there's only one state that can possibly argue that their flag should be flown somewhere and they fly their state in front of the state capitol all the time and that's the state of Texas. Why? Because Texas was the last to join the union. So know your history, it won't be a mystery. But Bubba Wallace is a trailblazer. I can't say that enough. And you know, we wish him great success. And for all those people out there that seem to want to compare him to Jesse Smollett who allegedly fabricated his own story and Bubba Wallace who was told that there was a noose. And when you see the picture, it the, the pulley for the garage is shaped like a noose. And somehow people want to argue, well, it's not a noose because it's not capable of hanging anyone. That's a misnomer. It doesn't matter. You can have a noose as a trinket. Um, you can have a noose hanging in your own home. I don't know. Some, some of the NASCAR fans may. I don't know. I don't care. Um, but the bottom line is that uh, Bubba Wallace is uh, trailblazing his way uh, for African Americans and other people um, that are not white males that may see themselves wanting to become a NASCAR driver one day in their life. Um, so with that said, I don't understand what people don't understand about Black Lives Mattering, making a difference or whatever. Um, in terms of police brutality, and I certainly don't understand why people are offended about removing a flag um, that is treasonous from any grounds, and definitely the government grounds, and definitely any institutions like NASCAR. Having a Confederate flag there just says treason. The South lost the war, so therefore the flag should be hung somewhere, and the only place it should be hung is in a museum.